My name is Mike Delacus. I'm a correctional officer. I'm from Kincaid, Illinois. I was in the gym with my wife lifting weights and um, was doing some overhead presses and I just my right arm fell down and my left arm, I guess, carried the weight up and then I fell off the bench and that's really about the only thing I remember. I just never expected, you know, the thought of Mike having a stroke when he's 39 years old. So I went down the stairs to go see what was wrong and he was laying on the ground and he wasn't moving. He was, ta he was slurring when he was talking. Uh, I really didn't know what was going on and the guy that was helping him from the gym, the guy that Mike was working out next to just started helping him and he's the one who told me that he was having a stroke and that they'd already called 911. From the looks of him, I didn't know if he was going to survive. It was, it was scary. It was probably one of the scariest days of my life. I was at home and I was writing an essay for school and then my brother come, came running in and he was like, come on, come on, get in the car and he wouldn't tell me what happened and I just had to go in the car and I didn't even know what was going on. When got Gracie and then we drove to the hospital and it was just nerve wracking the whole way there. I got a lot more worried because he didn't talk. You could just tell he, the whole left side was tensed up and it wasn't move, he couldn't move. It was just really scary. I was really scared. I didn't know if they could save him because he just looked really bad. Within minutes, they arrived, Mike arrived, and he was clearly having a stroke. He was paralyzed on one side of his body. His eyes were deviated to one side. He couldn't really talk. Uh, considering that we thought that Mike was having a stroke at the time, I didn't think that Taylorville was equipped to handle something that major. And so I started crying and asking if we could go to Springfield so that we could get things taken care of in Springfield. And we realized that even though he needed to go to Springfield um, and needed to be in the ICU, we realized that we had the opportunity to do some things in Taylorville that would help improve his outcome. So we quickly got a CAT scan, we quickly consulted with the neurologists in Springfield and the radiologists in Springfield who were looking at our images um, that we had taken of Mike in Taylorville and we realized that he was an optimal candidate for TPA and so after talking with Wendy and getting consent from her, we administered TPA to Mike. It, it was very real. We found out that you know it can go, life can go quick and I was really scared that he wasn't going to make it because they said that the shot they were giving him potentially could make him bleed out and he wouldn't make it. The stroke program at Memorial Medical Center is a comprehensive approach with a multidisciplinary medical service, which include a neurointerventionalist such as myself or other members of my team. Uh, the emergency department, physicians and staff, the neurology service through Southern Illinois University Medical School, as well as the neurosurgery team from Southern Illinois University Medical School. We take a comprehensive team approach and work in close collaboration in order to determine what is the best treatment for the patient in an emergency situation. Memorial Medical Center is a certified Joint Commission Comprehensive Stroke Center. This means that we provide the highest standard of neurological care to the patient, meaning that we not only are providing patients with the club busting medication at TPA, but we're also providing advanced endovascular surgical care, which means neurointervention as well as having also neurosurgery services and stroke neurology services. When I woke up, just Wendy was there and, and the kids and 
and there was a couple nurses and doctors around. I, I really still kind of trying to come to terms with what happened. I really didn't know. He looked so much better and I was really happy. I mean, I didn't think they were going to be able to save him. And then I saw him and he looked fine and he was asking to go home. So I knew he was okay and I just felt so much better about it. Going through what we went through and taking a chance of losing someone that close, there's not enough thank yous for what they did.